This morning, General Motors makes a bold move to protect itself in the wake of a major safety recall. WKBN's Dennis Viviana joins us live now with that story new this morning. And good morning to you, Amy. General Motors is asking for a bankruptcy court protection from lawsuits generated by the ignition switch recall. Now, the automaker has been protected by a so-called legal shield since its bankruptcy in 2009. Now, according to CNN, GM is facing, was facing 2,500 lawsuits at the time of its bankruptcy five years ago. But those who sued have only received pennies on the dollar. GM says it's now facing at least 36 ignition switch lawsuits. That's since February. The automaker has recalled 2.6 million cars worldwide from 2004 through 2010. And those faulty switches have been linked to 13 deaths. Now, GM says it has known about the ignition switch defects since at least 2004. And the automaker has also hired an attorney, Ken Feinberg, exploring for ways to compensate accident victims. He's best known for his work compensating victims on September 11th in the Boston Marathon bombing. Now, on Monday, GM CEO Mary Barra replaced the leaders of human resources and public relations departments, saying the departures were not connected to the recall investigation. Now, GM has also called on NASA to analyze the automaker's handling of the recall and other safety issues. In the next hour, I will discuss the fallout of GM's ignition switch defect. The automaker's stock is down 18% since the beginning of the year, but there could be light at the end of the tunnel. I'll explain next hour. Amy?